So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. We say that because of the length of the question. It is greater than four lines long. So with, with translate word problem questions, all you want to do is make sure you're not reading the entire word problem all the way through, that you're stopping at the end of each sentence to make sure you understood what you read, and you are definitely writing down any and all quantitative information. So let's get started. The first sentence here says, one of the requirements for becoming a court reporter is the ability to type 225 words per minute. So I'm going to say CR for court reporter equals 225 WPM, which stands for words per minute. The next sentence says, Donald can currently type 180 words per minute and believes that with practice, he can increase his typing speed by five words per minute each month. So the translation for that sentence is saying, well, Donald, who currently types 180 words per minute, can add to that speed five words per minute for every month. So I'm going to multiply by, I'll just say capital M stands for months. All right, and because I have all these letters here, I'm going to just write it as D equals 180 plus 5M, knowing that the numbers represent words per minute. But this M here represents months, all right, number of months. So the next sentence says, which of the following represents the number of words per minute that Donald believes he will be able to type M months from now? Well, in essence, I've already answered that question through translation, which tends to happen when I'm translating a word problem, right? Because I know that this equation represents how many words per minute we expect Donald to be able to type based upon the number of months from his current 180. So that takes me to an answer choice of C, right? 180 plus that five times M. Now, we could also use plugging your own number for this. So hopefully you know what I mean by that. If not, definitely check out some other videos that I have here. Um, but in essence, while we do for plugging your own numbers, we make up a number for our variable. So let's say I said M is five, meaning five months from now. And we say, okay, well, if he's typing 180 now, and we know that he's going to increase by five words per minute per month. But there's five months that he's working on this. So we expect him to improve by 25 words per minute. So all together, right, if I say this is 25, all together that 180 plus 25 gives us 205. This is our answer. We expect, we expect that Donald will be able to type 205 words per minute in five months. So the next step with plugging your own numbers is to take that same five and plug it into each of the M's in the answers until we find a matching answer that also gives us 205. Now, this strategy is definitely not required for this question because I think the simplest thing to do here was just to translate. But I show you this strategy in this question so that you know it for future questions, right? So in future questions, if you ever have a variable in the answer choices, it very well may be that plugging your own number is a good strategy to use. So if you were to take this five and plug it into all these M's, what you would find again is that C, answer choice C, is the only answer choice that gets us to 205 when M equals five. So again, C is the best answer here.